Hi, and thanks for dropping in to watch this video on how to record your off the job training hours using OneFile. So what are off the job hours and why do we need to record them? So off the job training is any training that you do as an apprentice whilst you're not actually doing work for your employer. And that training can be uh, time that you spend at college um, or time spent in the workplace being shown how to do something by somebody else or shadowing somebody else. So 20% of your contracted hours as an apprentice is required to be spent on off the job training. And if you're spending more than one day a week at college, you should be hitting that number quite nicely, although it's still important to record any other off the job training that you do. If you're at college one day a week, then you, it's really important that you also record your uh, off the job training hours whilst in the workplace. Now, to give you some idea of what constitutes off the job training in the workplace. I'm just going to share my screen and we'll have a little look at a list of things that would count as off the job training. So here's a list of things that you could potentially record as off the job training. If you have a mentor or a coach or an allocated trainer at work, any time spent one to one discussing training aspects with them would count as off the job training. Anytime you visit another employer or another site to learn a particular task or a skill would also count. And anything that you do online in terms of uh, learning new information would also count. The next four, however, are the most likely ones that you're going to encounter in the workplace. So work shadowing is where you're watching somebody complete a task or a job and they're showing you how to do it as they work their way through it. Technical instruction at work is where you're directly being shown how to complete a task, very similar to work shadowing. Skill practice might be a, a, a task that you're given in the workplace so that you can practice your skills and hone your skill at uh, completing a particular activity. And you could be working under supervision and the direct training. So you're doing the work yourself with somebody observing and guiding you as you go through. So all of those tasks carried out in the workplace need to be recorded as off the job training in one file. And so let me just show you with a screen share again how we're going to do that. So when you log into one file, this is the screen that you see your home screen. And if you haven't got the menu showing down the left hand side, you can just click the three, four lines against the OneFile logo there to open up this menu. And as you scroll down, you'll see one of the options is timesheets. So and that's the one I'm going to select. OK, now on this page, you will see your assessment time at college or any time you are working on assessment activity will be recorded automatically by OneFile. Um, but this is where you're going to record your time spent at work in any kind of learning activity. So we click on create a timesheet entry and then we would write in there what the activity was. A couple of lines should normally cover it. So today I've written there, today I shadowed and assisted Steve Wellham, who's an aviation technician in the inspection and testing of a Boeing 737 DC generator. I learned how to visually inspect for wear and damage, how to check for bearing wear, and how to electrically test the rectifier pack and the insulation of the stator. So that describes what I've done and what I've learned. So I now select a category over here. Uh, so that category really comes under work shadowing. So I scroll down, click on work shadowing. Off the jobs automatically selected. Uh, and then I just put the date in there. So it was today's date. Start time was 12.45. And we spent two and a quarter hours on that job. So I'll record that as two hours and 15 minutes. So I'm happy with that. I've got my description of what I did, what I've learned, the category it comes under, start date and time, and how long we spent on the activity. And just click on save. And then that becomes a new task in my list down here uh, that then collects my um, work shadowing activities as off the job training. OK, so there we go. Every time you complete a uh, an off the job task at work, just come into pop into one file, 
go to timesheets and create timesheet activity. And then that will uh, contribute towards collecting your 20% minimum requirement of off the job training. Hope that all made sense. Hope that was helpful to you. See you on the next video. Bye for now.